this is the continuation of best cybersecurity certifications for the year 2022. But this time, we will talk about career roadmap. And if you missed the best cybersecurity certification videos, kindly check the link in the description below. This is for those who are already working as a security professionals and wants to improve their skills so they can move to another level. Or those individuals who are already working in IT and want to shift to a more security focused role. Or those individuals who are just planning to start their career in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity career is broad. That is why I group certifications in multiple paths. And based on this path, we will talk about various cybersecurity roles so you would know which one is the best for you. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am your career and certification captain. On this channel, we talk about tech career and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First, roles under security engineering path. And most of these are vendor specific, like Cisco, F5, Palo Alto Networks, Checkpoint or even vendors like Juniper, Fortinet, Symantec, McAfee, Splunk. And you may see roles like Network Security Engineer, Security Engineer, Firewall Specialist, or Next Generation Firewall Specialist, Identity Management Engineer, or even just Network Engineer, but you specialize in firewalls and VPN. Most of these roles mentioned are network related. So you will be working with router switches and WLC devices. Most likely, you are in a network team or working with network team. It's not always network related though. You may specialize security in a specific application or endpoints or focusing on vulnerabilities such as NGIPS or uh, IPS specialist. This role is dedicated working with signatures and intrusion policy. Also, you deal and check CVEs, the common vulnerability and exposures. Under Application Security Engineer, we have Email Security, where you defend email-specific threats. We also have Web Security or Web Application Firewall. Actually, WAF Engineer is a specific role. This is where you deal with lots of web security policies, testing, signatures, OWASP, and even CVE. Probably one of the most difficult roles because you coordinate with many teams, such as developers, system administrators, network engineers, etc. Another area and roles under this path are server security engineers and endpoint security or advanced malware engineer. These roles are more on protecting and securing endpoints. Under this path, sometimes you work in a reseller and you will be specializing in one or few vendors. Or sometimes you are an in-house security engineer in your organization, or you can also be an independent consultant. Let's say you are a master of WAF, let's say F5 WAF, or you're a master of Palo Alto Next Generation Firewall. Okay, so that's good. Uh, you are also involved in design implementation and sometimes operations, take note, we have a dedicated path of security operations. Um, now, if you do well as a security engineer under this path, say you are familiar with multiple technologies and you can oversee things, you can be promoted as a security architect or a technical security manager. Those specializing in this path can easily move to security operations and security management path. Probably this is the most interesting and it's actually becoming more and more popular cybersecurity track. Penetration testing business is significantly increasing for the past few years before it wasn't even existing. This is to validate really the cybersecurity defense of a company. It's really this simple. 
after the company spent millions of dollars implementing all of these different kinds of cyber defense solutions like next generation firewall next generation ips web application firewall email endpoint security etc how would you even know if it's really working how do you make sure it can protect companies assets so penetration testers also known as red team what they do is they scan vulnerabilities they also run different attack vectors so in layman's term they will try to hack company system and provide reports and recommendations based on the results some companies they have their own in-house penetration testers but not that common usually they let third-party companies do the penetration testing and advanced persistent threats like my company they also have many different levels and specializations like penetration testing on a specific application such as web email and dns web-based applications obviously the most common we actually have a dedicated penetration testing certifications like OSWA, OSWE, EWAPTX, etc. Another common types of testing is related to social engineering, DDoS, buffer overflows, which is related to exploit development. It involves developing and coding your own exploits. And it also has a dedicated certification such as OSED, CXD, and OSEE. One cool role under this path is to be an independent penetration testing or advanced persistent threat specialist. And if you're really good and well known, you will get more and more projects from many different companies. As a result, you will get more money versus working for other companies. Bug bounty hunters and threat hunters may also fall in this path but it can also cross to security operations. Cybersecurity or security operations and analysis, also known as Blue Team. Before Security Operations Center or SOC, before it's not very common. Usually these are third-party companies and sometimes we call them Managed Security Services or MSS. So this is how it works. Before, security engineering team, those who implement the security solutions, also do the operations. But in large companies, it's now a separate entities. So this is how it works. The security engineering or the infrastructure team will do the actual security implementations. Uh, once it's done, they will hand it over to the security operations team. So if your expertise are Cisco, Palo Alto, Checkpoint, F5, McAfee, Symantec, you can also move to operations. But the major difference is this is a 24-7 operations and everything is already running. It's more of gathering and monitoring information such as security events, threats, vulnerabilities, abnormal traffic, etc. Also under this path, you will be working with lots of security information event manager or CM like Splunk. And you will also be working with network and security analysis tools, open security intelligence, indication of compromise, and many more. And these are the roles under this path. Security analysts, threat hunters, security forensic, incident response specialist, which can be a very critical role because part of the task is to recover and restore system and applications when security breach happens. Security management path. Under this path, you will see roles such as security officer, security architect, security manager, or security auditor, or higher roles such as director of security, CISO, or even CTO. Your main goal is to create policies and make sure these policies are applied in your organization. Sometimes it requires technical knowledge, but I know some security managers and officers, they have zero or minimal background with cybersecurity. Believe it or not, roles under this path are the most important because you basically create rules, process, and policies and this will be followed by many different teams like security engineering and operations and even every single employees in the company. Without proper security process and policies, 
we are inviting chaos and eventually the system would be compromised. Here are the examples of domains and responsibilities under security management. And most of these are covered under CISSP, CISM, and other certifications. Okay, so these are security training and awareness. Building the groups, red, blue, and purple team. Security and risk management, security assets, security engineering, application security, overall security operations, and even physical security. Your ultimate goal is not to lose company assets, not to lose money because of security breach. I know a lot of security architect or network architect and even CCIEs went to this path. This is when you're tired doing technical stuff, tired of those dirty work and decide to go to management role. It's the same under security operations and analysis. So some security operations manager or senior security analysts, they are tired of monitoring and investigating security related events. They move to this path, security management. So that is my cybersecurity career roadmap. I think I will do more of this career roadmap thing in the future, not just cybersecurity. It can be networking, cloud, data center, programming, and many others. Anyway, please like this video if you find it interesting. Also like this video even if you don't. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions and clarifications. <laughs>